continuation with the last lecture we have seen that DRA resonate modes help us to provide larger bandwidth if in case we merge these resonant modes. Second case was that by splitting these resonant modes we can operate same antenna on different uh, frequencies. It means mode 1 will give different frequency, mode 2 will give, uh, give different frequency, mode 3 will give different frequency. So, three different services can be served with the same antenna using frequency of mode 1, frequency of mode 2, frequency of mode 3. So, two different applications we have seen in case of a DRA that is dielectric resonant antenna for wideband and for multiple band. Now, what is uh, the applications of having three different services on one uh, antenna? Antenna uh, will be able to provide you the services on microwave uh, frequency as well as on terahertz frequency. So, DRA we have used not only for communication, but we can use them for radars. Now, in patch antenna, the power ha handling capability is less, whereas in DRA, huge amount of power handling capability is available. So, the radars will help us to, uh, to generate huge amount of power. It means power handling capability in DRA is larger as compared to patch antennas. One more scenario, they are made up from dielectric materials. It means they are temperature independent. In case of patch antennas, they are temperature dependent, but dielectric resonator antennas are temperature independent. It means they can operate at Jaisalmer, where they have a huge uh, temperature, as well as they can similarly operate at Leh Ladakh, where temperature is sub-zero. So, this way not only uh, these limited advantages, but many more advantages are there. If we recall antenna parameters such as uh, gain, S11, uh, polarization, reflection coefficient, radiation pattern, quality factor, then uh, azimuth angle, elevation angle and many more other parameters are there, we can play with these parameters to get the desired results depending on different applications of radio communication, broadcasting and radar applications. Now why antenna is so popular as far as DRA is concerned, because it is emerging uh, topic which has uh, not been so explored, but nowadays the people more than uh, 10,000 uh, research papers are available on dielectric resonant antennas. So, research community in antenna is approaching towards uh, new exploring new researches in antenna field using dielectric as a material. Losses are less, efficiency is more, the applications are more, that is why the topic of dielectric resonant antenna is becoming more and more popular. Now, but there are few problems uh, in uh, these areas also. Reason being, now uh, we can uh, bend these metallic antennas, but that bending of uh, uh, dielectric resonant antenna is difficult. Reason being, they are made from dielectric materials. But because of research, there are uh, many research groups which are exploring uh, the material characteristics and they are able to develop the flexible dielectric materials just like films. So, the problem of uh, bending or you can say uh, to give curvature shape or different shapes, now it is become po uh, possible. Reason being, a lot of research group have come up with the proposal that using uh, uh, poly, uh, poly, poly materials, they will be able to develop uh, dielectric uh, uh, materials which can be used for antennas. 
there are various active uh, materials as well as passive materials these are being used uh, as films and because of those invent of those uh, recent materials we are able to uh, root out the problem of uh, that also hence the efficiency low loss and uh, depending on whatever the shape we want to have we will be able to uh, get all the features which were available in uh, metallic antennas and higher uh, improved parameters are also available uh, in dielectric resonant antennas. Uh, so this way I can conclude that DRA are much better as compared to patch antennas. Thank you very much.